Hi Sagittarius, this is your bonus uh, tarot reading for this month. Well, we'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread, we'll look at what you urgently need to know right now. And uh, it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then, in the second, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you, either in regards to the urgent message we're about to see, or it could be uh, a general advice for the next couple of weeks for you. Uh, and uh, in the third spread, we'll look at the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Sagittarius, so uh, here's what you urgently need to know right now. We have uh, the Two of Cups. Uh, we have the Ace of Wands clarified by the Page of Wands. We have the Six of Cups clarified by the King of Swords. And uh, we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. We also have Aries on the table. Here's the deal. Um, Sagittarius. The King of Swords right next to the deck is clarifying the Six of Cups. It was the very last card that came out. It was. So you're de first of all you're dealing or will be dealing with this King of Swords. So it could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, they could be just somebody who is very intelligent, somebody who is very straightforward, um, you know, that type of uh, a character. All right, then the, the thing is you may have an urge <laughs> to reach out to them yourself. Because I do see this Ace of Wands clarified by the Page of Wands. And most likely that is your energy, Sagittarius. You are a fire sign, right? Both the Ace of, the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands uh, could be fire sign indicators. Okay? Um, for others of you, perhaps this King of Swords will reach out to you. I don't know. It, but it could be go both ways, since the King of Swords was the last card that came out, right? The Six of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection, right? At the same time, the Six of Cups is a card of somebody from your past. Not necessarily an ex. It could be an ex, but it could just be someone from your past. And uh, one other thing I noticed right away is that uh, the Two of Cups, the first card that came out, is also a soulmate card. So you got two soulmate cards on the table. That's probably why you're feeling this urge, this uh, pull, I guess, towards this person. And all these retrogrades we have going on right now will at some point, I think, have like five, six, or even seven retrogrades concurrently in early September. Uh, perhaps that's what's actually, um, you know, pressuring you, I guess. If you at some point feel, the, feel an urge to reach out to this King of Swords, that's why. Um, you know, because this person is your soulmate and because of all these retrogrades. Alright, the Fool on the bottom of the deck could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the Fool could, if it is your ex, then the Fool could be a card of second chances. At the same time, the Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith. So again, if you feel an urge, perhaps you'll just decide to reach out to them and see what happens. Alright, um, the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Page of Wands, that's most likely you. Like I said, that feels like you, <laughs> Sagittarius. Alright, the Page of Wands is a message, the Ace of Wands, that's uh, you wanting to get the show on the road, or you want to you get the show back on the road with them, or you just want to, you know, catch up with them, see what they've been up to, uh, you know, that type of uh, energy. But I see you really wanting, even if they reach out to you, I still see you being... Um, excited about this. I'm not gonna, you know, hide this from you. Yeah, you will be excited. The Ace of Wands still, still belongs to you, uh, Sagittarius. All right, so <laughs> that's what we have for you so far. Let's take a look at the advice for you uh, for this particular situation in spread number two. Here's the advice for you, uh, Sagittarius, for what we saw in the first spread. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, uh, the Star, and uh, the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. We also have Taurus and uh, perhaps even another Sagittarius. Well, I got a little confession to make, uh, Sagittarius. I was just sitting and looking at the spread and I was thinking, do I really want to do spread number three for Sagittarius? Because uh, spread number three is uh, the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face, but I don't know if you can beat this, because <laughs> this is just um, off the charts. This is the spread you want to have. Like every single card on the table is a major arcana card. Every single one of them, including the Empress on the bottom of the deck. And these are just amazing 
major arcana cards by themselves and especially together. I don't even know what to tell you from the advice perspective, right? The advice pers from the advice perspective, yes, the answer is yes, Sagittarius. If you feel like reaching out to them, go ahead. If they reach out to you and you and they offer you to, you know, try something, something serious with you or try something serious with you again, the answer is still yes. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. Well, let's uh, let's unpack this real, real quick, right? The Wheel of Fortune often is associated with you, Sagittarius. It's one of your cards. At the same time, the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a cycle or a repeat of a cycle, right? Restarting a cycle. The Lovers could be a like Gemini you're dealing with. The Lovers is a card of a choice. But at the same time, in my opinion, it's one of the best, if not the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. This person could be your Twin Flame. If you believe in Twin Flames, this, this person could be it. It's also a Soulmate card. And uh, it's a card of uh, the love of your life, right? The star right next to the deck could be an Aquarius. You're dealing with, but the star is also a card of healing. So if this is your ex, perhaps the two of you could heal the situation, right? And at the same time, the star is a wish come true. You know, something people usually wish for, hope for, for a long time. The, the Empress on the bottom of the deck could be either a Libra or a Taurus. You're dealing with, by the way, we have a major arcana card for every single air sign, right? The Lovers is a Gemini, the star is an Aquarius, the Empress could be a Libra. But uh, at the same time, uh, the Empress is just one of the most positive cards in the deck. It's, it really is. It's abundance in its purest form. It's, uh, it could be you, <laughs> Sagittarius, as well. Perhaps this person will treat you like the Empress. They will love you, cherish you, take care of you, put you up on a pedestal. If having children is still an option for you, the two of you could have children together, have more children together, because the Empress is also a mother figure. And uh, the Empress sometimes comes through as a wife or a spouse or a significant other figure. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to think about this for a quick second, if I want to do spread number three. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, yeah, because I already promised it in the beginning that we'll have three spreads, all right? So, yes, uh, from the advice perspective, for the tenth time, the answer is yes, this person is just, uh, it could be the lover of your life. But, yeah, let's move on. Let's take a look at spread number three real quick. Here's spread number three, Sagittarius. This is the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face. Uh, we have uh, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Your financial situation will improve, or you will have a better job. You'll start a better job. Some of you may quit your nine to five and uh, start your own business. All right. You know what I noticed is that we have two sixes and two nines. So if you turn the six upside down, you get the nine. Or if you turn the nine upside down, you get the six. I don't know if that's... Perhaps for some of you, it means something. <laughs> so, so I just felt like bringing it up. Anyway, um, yeah, the Ten of Swords, the first card I came out is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Right? The Ten of Swords is a card of an ending, an abrupt ending, as a matter of fact. And what's coming to an abrupt ending is the Five of Pentacles. Uh, the Five of Pentacles, uh, since I believe this whole spread is about work, business, finances in some shape or form, um, you could be experiencing some financial difficulties right now. If you're not, perhaps uh, your current job sucks and you can't wait to get out of it. Right? So, that, whatever the Five of Pentacles represents in your case is coming to an end. All right, uh, because here comes the Six of Swords and the, the rest of the spread. The Six of Swords is literally going somewhere or leaving something behind. In some cases, the Six of Swords could be interpreted as a rough patch being over. Okay, um, and uh, the Six of Wands clarified by the Nine of Cups, there you are, feeling like you've won, right? And most likely you will win, right? The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success. It's a card of recognition, it's a card of being awarded, rewarded, or simply feeling good about yourself or feeling good about what's going on. The Nine of Cups clarifying it is a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. All right, it's also a card of a wish come true. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, I think that's you at some point in September feeling this way. It's also a card of feeling good about yourself. It's a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, and uh, somebody who is doing very well financially. All right. Perhaps the new, if you're starting a new job, but the new job, they will respect you, they will love you, they will come to you for an advice the way you deserve, basically. 
All right, so yeah, that's the next thing that will happen to you. But remember the first two spreads? Those were just awesome. <laughs> Sagittarius, this is not too shabby either. Um, but the first two were just wow. All right, so yep, that's what I have for you for this reading for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing September.